Geek.com. In case you don't know who I am, who we are, I'm a professional land investor. I've done over 5,000 land flips. And I would make the argument that I have the best passive income model. Three podcasts on iTunes, the Land Geek podcast, the best passive income model podcast, and the current art of passive income model podcast. I am delighted. delighted. I am honored. I'm overjoyed to be joined today by <laughs> David Banalis, the Facebook whisperer. David, how are you? I'm great, Mark. Every day I fall in love with Facebook just a little bit more. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I, I, I am mugless right now. I, I had my cup of coffee this morning. Um, I usually have a bottle of water next to me, just like you're doing right now. Look at this big, I, big thing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm hydrated. I'll be good for this uh, this live. So, David, are you ready for Vegas? I am almost ready for Vegas. So, I'm like the worst procrastinator when it comes to traveling. So, I'll be packing my bag probably tomorrow morning. <laughs> but as far as presentation goes, uh, I'm ready. I got a slide deck. Uh, good to go. I'll probably ref refine it right before. That's what I usually do. But I'm ready. I'm, let's drop some knowledge. Drop the mic. <laughs> drop the mic. Look, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about our live two-and-a-half-day intensive training program. It's at thelandgeek.com forward slash boot camp. Thelandgeek.com forward slash boot camp. So, David, what are we talking about today? Let's, uh, let's talk about perspectives, right? So you've never actually been to one of your own boot camps, right? So you've only put them on. I've only I've, ne I've never been to a another I've only heard I've never been to another real estate seminar. Um, I've only been to my yeah I've never been to a only my own boot camp. Now I've been to other mastermind groups, okay, that are smaller but not um, an, a big event. Okay, so uh, I, I guess we could just uh, we'll start talking about what it was like for me my first time there, okay. and then you know see what our audience you know has to say maybe their first time or what they can expect. Uh, Daniel did a really great job uh, sending out an email of, you know, what to expect for bootcamp. So, I mean, she kind of stole my thunder on you know, what I could talk about. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I was, mean, how, how, how amazing is Daniel Dieball? Every, every yeah. day I write in my gratitude journal, Daniel Dieball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I'm, I'm blown away too. So, yeah, it was perfect. Um, I do remember the – so I stayed in a different hotel. Uh, when we were at Marriott Las Vegas last year. Right. Um, so I made that decision. You know, I was a little shy, and plus, you know, I brought my family with me. So we stayed at one of those, uh, uh, like a vacation place uh, where they had a pool. So it was better for, you know, my son and my wife. But knowing what I know now, I would always opt to stay at the host hotel. Yeah. It's, it just makes things so much easier. Um, in between breaks, you can run up to your room. Um, use the restroom, grab a snack, you know, stop at the market before. Yeah, I would never stay off site anymore at this point. Yeah, I mean, you know, the networking, just just what you can, you know, sort of, you know, get just in those little um, breaks when we're, you know, not in the boot camp and just in the lobby, you know, and it's just, I think you're, you're networking gets 10 X because you're in the hotel, you run into people in the elevator and you start striking up a conversation, right? Like, can you believe how much coffee Mark drinks? Right? <laughs> it's it's uh, true. You drink you believe, a lot of you believe the tip David gave on Facebook or Scott Todd just, I, you know, blew my mind with all this automation stuff. So, um, you know, these little conversation starters happen not in the room sometimes, but off site. And if you're not at that hotel, it, it's less likely to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I talked a little bit with Sean and Rachel at San Antonio, but that was, you know, planting the seeds for, man, we have a you know great friendship now and we almost talk on a daily basis. Um, man, coming to boot camp, you'll come for the tips, stay for the friends. You know? <laughs> no, really, really. It's, it's so true. I mean, it's, it's really like a trifecta of value. In the sense that you get the training, you get the networking and the community, and um, you get that sort of extra motivation, if you will, because you see in real time deals being done, 
right? It becomes so much more real. It's not academic anymore. It's like, holy cow, I'm seeing money being sent via, the, you know, yeah. uh, you know, geekpay.io to David Benalis. <laughs> nice. Right. Nice nine, <laughs> nine, what do you think of GeekPay? He's on. Nice. So uh, we, let's do a little giveaway, right? So let's come up with a keyword that we're going to ask people to comment after the show is over. Okay. And uh, they'll go into some type of uh, electronic raffle. So, you know, I you, I won't be playing favorites. Let's give away some coffee for next week. So a $10 gift card to your favorite coffee shop. That could be, you know, we, uh, Starbucks or uh, coffee bean who knows? Yeah, I have to tell you, David, I've become such a coffee snob. Um, as I've, as my palate has matured, like my wife's like, why can't we have Starbucks anymore? I'm like, it's the McDonald's of coffee. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. It's just not great. <laughs> so now I'm like going to like these, you know, you know, the nose ring in the nose kind of, like, you know, play. They're playing, the coffee shop. <laughs> they're playing the coffee house music. It's like the small bag of beans, you know. Is that when they, uh, they weigh out every single bean? They weigh out every single bean. They have, like, the AeroPress. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm buying beans out from there, and um, it's really nice. funny. Great. Um, right. I'm all about small business. Anyway, we're small businesses. So, yeah, let's support another small business. Nine likes Geek Bear. That's good. I, I, I'm, I, if Nine was like, it sucks, I'd be like, oh, no. Um, so just, just another reminder who we are. Uh, David and I are professional land investors. You can learn more at thelandgeek.com. Uh, Chris Egner, sometimes you need some McDonald's. But, yeah, <laughs> Starbucks is not my favorite. And Chris is right. I mean, you know, it's fine. I, I remember this, this stand-up with Jim Gaffigan. And he was like, "When did it? When did it like you're you're more embarrassed about saying you're at Starbucks than anything else, right? like, <laughs> or not Starbucks, McDonald's? It's like it's like you know, oh yeah, I just got a Big Mac at McDonald's. Like, I didn't know I was better than you. It's like, <laughs> really? Oh, that's hilarious. So funny. Oh man, do people still eat at McDonald's? <laughs> yes, David's vegan. He doesn't eat at McDonald's. Oh, so, um, all right. So the keyword is what? What is the keyword uh, for the giveaway? Let's do something boot camp related. Uh, let's do. I want to be at Scottsdale. Oh, it's got to be shorter than that. Let's just do keyword is Scottsdale, maybe. Sure. Keyword right. is Scottsdale. Let's get people excited for the next one. So leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Scottsdale. A ten dollar gift card to your favorite. Coffee shop. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And then we'll give it away next week. We'll give it away next week. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So the comment has to be after the show is over. Oh, okay. and so la last week we had some people uh, ask some questions, but it got um, lost in the mix. So if someone has any questions and we don't get time to, uh, we don't have time to answer them, just right. comment here anyway, and we'll be able to hop back in, you know, after coffee talk is over and answer those questions. Awesome. Awesome. All right, David, what's, what's the, the, the best tip right now for Facebook? Marketing? Uh, following up. So Facebook is your marketing, but it's not your sales. I mean, the, the whole sales marketing thing, I don't really fully understand the whole division between the two. No, I, I do. Marketing yeah. is generating interest. Okay. Sales is um, taking that interest and then creating an actual sale, right? So no one no one buys anything off of just marketing alone. At some point, they need a sale channel, whether it's you doing it, whether it's your website, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. So then I would say, you know, keep your expectations of Facebook marketing exactly what they should be is marketing. You're starting conversations, but you're still going to have to, you know, get them on the phone and close them out. Or to uh, say, hey, you want to talk next week? Okay, what day should we talk? Okay, is morning or afternoon better? Okay, afternoon? Okay, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. Okay, I'll call you 3 o'clock next Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's and there's a bunch of calendar apps or, you know, services that are super inexpensive um, to use to actually manage that. So they can actually set up a time and then they get reminders automated. So there's Calendly.com. 
Um, mm-hmm. I use Acuity scheduling. There's Time Trade. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. Uh, yeah. Is there one that you like, David, in particular? Um, so I've been toying around with uh, Nimble uh, as a Nimble. CRM. So that's been – I actually kind of prefer that over a few others. I mean, it's okay. pretty cheap. It's like 15 or 10, 10 or 15 bucks a month. Yeah. But, you know, I don't look at, you know, these costs anymore. This is like, you know, for 15 bucks a month, I can remember to call somebody and get an extra sale. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Absolutely. There's there's an app that I've been using called Close. Um, pretty cool. And it, this one's free if you want some of the, the bigger bells and whistles on it. Um, it's like 15 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month or something. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about CRMs. And- so if someone is barely starting out, Mark, at what point would you recommend them using a CRM? Mimi. Mimi. Mimi's going to be in Vegas. <laughs> Mimi's going to be in that, in that special VIP room where it all – it all gets crazy back there. Um, yeah. You know, I, I have actually, the VIPs have to send an indemnification agreement if their head explodes. <laughs> we are sworn to not talk about what yeah. goes on in the back room. The first rule of the back room, don't talk about the back room. Right. And since Mimi hunts terrorists, we know we can trust her. <laughs> so she's like, like, I always feel scared, like, oh gosh, I'm seeing Mimi. <laughs> Like, I don't want to say the wrong thing because I, I just know, like, she can just press a button and it's all going to end for me. <laughs> don't offend me. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so at what point would you recommend a student start working a CRM to follow up with leads from the beginning? I, you've got to have it from the very beginning, whether you use um, Podio, whether you use uh, Nimble, whether you use, uh, I don't, don't care what you use. You don't need a CRM, whether you use Excel, it doesn't really matter. When I first started, um, I used, uh, I used, I think it was, I used Daylight for the Mac. And then I've graduated from there because it wasn't web-based and it got kind of expensive. But um, we now have our own proprietary CRM with LG Pass. That's only for coaching clients because 90% of the business then becomes automated. But um, if you're just starting out, you got to use something. I mean, I don't know. What do you recommend, David? I, I would say I, Podio because it's free. Yes. So you can use Podio. You can use Trello to you know track uh, the properties you buy. Yeah. And then on, on, the, on the sales side, I would say just start with you don't need a CRM. It's free. I mean, at the very least, you want a reminder to follow up with somebody. Um, so I just started using Boomerang for Gmail. Um, I didn't even know about this. Danielle told me about it. That's how she gets to inbox zero at the end of every day. Um, I know oh, you, if you're not using Mixmax, I like Mixmax better than Boomerang, and it's free. Okay, so Mixmax, Mix Mixmax is amazing, David. It's it's okay. like and it's free extension. If you're not using Mixmax, you're okay. not. You can't even call yourself a land geek. <laughs> it's okay. amazing. Mixmax.com. It's All right, amazing. I'm gonna go to Mixmax. But even going from yeah. nothing to Boomerang with the ability to schedule an email. So what I've been doing is after I'm done with uh, off the phone with a, uh, a buyer and I have to like, follow watch up. out. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> I, I write the follow up email right after the phone call and then schedule it to go out when I tell them I'll follow up this way. I don't have to remember to write it. So mix max, maybe they improved it. So, Hey, whatever Daniel's Daniel says, is going to go here, Mark. I No, I agree. you got to go with Danielle's <laughs> recommendations, but she needs to re- revisit it because, I, I mean, I've got templates in there. Uh-huh. I, I love Mixmax. I can snooze. Um, I can boomerang, and it's all free. Okay, so right now I'm and using – It even tracks if they open it or not. You can see if they open their email. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to Mixmax. Yeah, so it's I was a great using, extension. Uh, gorgeous or George's? Yeah, it's great too. That, that was Chris Clark's uh, yeah. recommendation. Yeah, I got that. And that's it, it, the cool thing about that is it tells you how much time you've actually saved by using templates. Like up to now, I've saved like you know an hour and 34 minutes by using templates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, here's a question from uh, from Brett. He wants to know, I was just on your webinar with Carrie and asked about short-term capital gains. 
I would like to know, is that if you structure the payment so that your last payment is paid just over a year, does that mean you're not subject to short-term, but rather long-term capital gains since the property is not officially sold for a year? And that is correct. So when we do a land contract, right, the property stays in our name until they make their final payment. And so those first years of payments are short-term. And then as you go and you own it a year and day, then it becomes long-term capital gains. That being said, always take advice from your CPA, right? I'm not a CPA. I can't give tax advice. I can only tell you what I do, and that's what I do. That's good advice. Yeah. Um, all right, David. So right. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you might be setting up some AV stuff, right? But uh, if anyone gets there. So, yeah, another thing. I was... I'm still a very shy person, but I've learned that you need to break out of that and just start networking, start talking to people. Um, I don't know where exactly, so I haven't been to this hotel, but once I get there, I'll go live um, showing people where to where to meet up. It'll probably be at some area near a bar, I'm sure. The setup might be same to San Antonio, don't you think? Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Okay. Yeah, JW Danielle's got us with a hookup for sure. Um, yeah, if you want to learn more, go to landgeek.com forward slash bootcamp. Um, for those of you who are coming, Danielle just sent you an email with all the details as well. We start promptly on Friday morning at nine, and we'll go to seven o'clock, um, or maybe even eight o'clock with the happy hour. So, uh, and then Saturday is from nine to six, and then. Sunday is nine to twelve, so um, I'm really excited. I, I love boot camp. I, it's it's like it's a, becoming like a family reunion. Nine is there again. Oh, yeah. Mimi's going to be there. Um, all these other VIPs are there. It's like it's great. It's great. So yeah, family um, reunion. You couldn't describe it better. It really is a family reunion for for some of us. And if this is your first time, like. You're going to meet some family you never knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you want to get that $10 gift card, what's the keyword again, David? Scottsdale. So we're going to get ready for Scottsdale, Scottsdale boot camp. I know, Scottsdale in August. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mimi, it'll be my fourth. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we're going to start getting tattoos, a little X for each time you've been there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we should. It should be like a like a special club. Like, you know, as yeah. SNL has like a certain club. Like, I've hosted SNL six times. Yeah. Right? Like, Mimi and Nine should have like their own special club. Yeah. Kind of like, okay, if you haven't, like Tom Willis, this is, might be his seventh. Man. Um, so, yeah, for sure, it's it's very cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Mimi, are you bringing the kids to Vegas, or is it? Are you going uh, on your own? Last time she was in San Antonio, she had the kids, she had her sister. I met her mom. It's amazing. It's like, yeah, a, it's I, like a true family reunion. I think her, her nephews and nieces, and uh, they all enjoy the lazy river. If it was even working in San Antonio, I don't know, but they said they totally digged it. Cold. Solo. Solo. All right. Well, if you're never solo at boot camp. You always have family. family. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> for sure. Um, I wonder, at Nine, are you bringing the family to Vegas? He's got Kate. I mean, he's got a newborn. He probably he's probably looking forward to this just for the sleep. Yeah. <laughs> he's not actually I, gonna go to any sessions. He's just gonna stay in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, Tom Willis did the same thing. He had he had a newborn. He like you know he he escaped the boot camp. You know, <laughs> it was like the most refreshed he'd been. I know. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll be away from my uh, my family. They'll be staying here in Los Angeles. I'll be in Vegas. Um, yeah. It takes yeah. some getting used to, you know, not really used to that, but, you know, being immersed with the content, with, uh, you know, the people and, you know, putting a pause on everything else for a time, it's just so beneficial. Yeah. I can't wait for the, you know, the first time attendance to, you know, see the reactions. So the first time I went to, you know, last, was it last year? Um, my Uber dropped me off and I saw you and Scott outside, you know, by the street. And I'm like, oh, it's them. <laughs> it's really them. <laughs> right, right. I know. <laughs> I was kind of like, you know, celebrity shock at that point. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that funny? I, I, I love when people are like, you know, cause they've been listening to podcasts for a while and then they get on a call with me. They're like, it's like talking to a celebrity. I'm like, Oh gosh, <laughs> I hope you're not sick of my voice. They're like, no, no. <laughs> It's kind of cool. I know. At this point, too, it's it's the same with my own calls. Like, hey, aren't you the guy from the podcast? I'm like, yep. 
The same guy that mumbles. <laughs> yeah. No. Look at nine. Flying in myself tomorrow afternoon. Sleep is very precious. Sleep yeah. is. It is. Yeah, nine, nine won't beat those bonus early morning bonus sessions for sure. <laughs> He'll be sleeping in. Yeah. Uh, here's Sean. For anyone on the fence about going to one of these boot camps, look at all the people showing up for the third, fourth, and fifth time. That really shows how valuable and fun they are. Yeah, that's oh, true. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and the great thing is, is that, um, and even Scott Todd will say this is like his seventh or eighth, um, we learn something new. There's always somebody, you know, in the room or, you know, there's always some gold nugget that um, – you don't realize it, but it moves the needle in your business. Even just one thing makes it worth the entire trip. Because when your margins are 300% to 1,000% in this business, that one little tip, that one little um, new strategy, that one little tweak in mindset can make the difference in your business. And oh, yeah. um, it's crazy. Absolutely. Let's say you're, you're someone's planning to do 20 deals this year, and they learn a tip, and they do 24 deals this year. You know, that's going to pay for the trip. But then, you know, the following year, you're going faster. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason not to come. I mean, maybe a birth. Uh, but even that's maybe, questionable, maybe, right? Maybe. 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 <laughs> you know. You're going to be with them your whole life. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, this is once every 90 days. Come on. You, know, you, got, you got to get away, you know. you know. You know, this is what you're doing for your family. You know, I know. You're... <laughs> You're investing that weekend to create more time to be with that baby. Like I remember when when I quit my job in 2001, my baby was six months old and my wife could run out and I had total freedom and flexibility. She'd run out, do her stuff. I'd hold the baby and um, there was nothing better. Now the jury's still out whether that was a good or bad thing for my children that I was around <laughs> so much, but it was great for me. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Derek Marshall, San Antonio was great. Wish I could make it to Vegas, but not this time. All right, Derek, that's okay. We'll we'll, we'll see you in, in Scottsdale, hopefully. Yeah. Mimi, Tate is coming, and he is on Baby Watch. Yeah, Tate yeah, is going to do till July. Yeah, he has like, like twelve, or she, uh, his wife, not he. Uh, twelve weeks to go. Um, they're expecting a a, a girl, correct? I, I think so. Oh, man. baby girl, there's nothing better. Uh, you no, got, you got a baby boy. I have a baby boy. He's he's awesome. I, so I'll ask him what the color of something is, and he'll just say blue. You you show him like a green bottle. What color is this? Blue. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Man, I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, my first two were boys, and then when we got the baby girl, uh -huh. was like, oh, someone to take care of us when we're older. It's because <laughs> you know the boys are gonna get married. Yeah, and like you know, they're <laughs> off. But yeah, like your baby girl is always like that's funny. You no, know, it's, it's, it's a little different for sure. Yeah, but yeah. you know, but they're all great. They're all great. Um, all right. So, is there any questions that Dave and I can answer before I've got to hop off? I've got. Uh, I'm planning the die meeting um, at eleven with the estate attorney, so that everything will continue to run when I'm gone. Oh, here we go. What time is the meetup tomorrow night? It's 10 p.m., but I'm trying to be there earlier if I can. So you can always um, hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Otherwise, I'll be going live from facebook.com forward slash the land geek. And then I'll be doing some cool stuff for the mastermind group as well. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Um, any other questions? No. All right. Well, Dave, this, I, I, I hope people are, are enjoying these coffee talks. I really yeah, do. If, if, if anyone has a question on what we want to talk about next week, just put them in these comments so that we can be prepared. Otherwise, we're just going to talk about – we're just going to hang out. I mean, do what we do best. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm finished my Bulletproof coffee. I'm, I'm fully caffeinated. I have one of those mugs at home. I love it. I use it on a daily basis. Oh, uh -huh. I'm so yeah. glad. I, I do need um, community help. Uh, yesterday, I was bending over uh, to pick up like a, a towel, and I threw my back out. I am in severe pain. I have like here. I have ice. I have an uh -huh. ice pack on my back right now, um, which is now warm. Oh, um, man. 
I got a massage yesterday. Uh, I'm on Advil, like 800 milligrams. Is there anything else I should be doing to help my back? Because I'm literally going to be all weekend, like moving a little oh, no. slow and a little bit in pain. So, oh um, man, I um, my grandma has some cream that she uses. I'll bring some of that. That's oh, one. Oh, you the- know what? I've got that cream too. I've, you know, I should start using that too. Um. It's like yeah, it's got capsicum, but they said to go. That's hot, so the first two days are cold, and then go hot. So I was going to wait okay. till tomorrow to do that. <laughs> so if anyone has Man. any back <laughs> advice for me, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, for we sure. shamelessly ask for any advice we need. Um, if anyone has a good tip on a dry cleaners in Los Angeles, let me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, oh, all right. Well, I thought this was great, and uh, again, learn more at the. Uh, landgeek.com. If you want to go to boot camp for Scottsdale, thelandgeek.com forward slash boot camp. And um, don't forget to put in your comment with your keyword, Scottsdale. Scottsdale. Oh, Daryl. Daryl's watching from the Philippines. Nice. 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 My wife is from the Philippines. Oh. From uh, Kapampanga. That's the language. And from Pampanga is the province. And we can talk about that if anyone's Filipino. (laughs) <laughs> I, I really got to get out there and meet with Daryl uh, and some other um, people on, on our team face to face because they they do such an amazing job. They work so hard, and um, you know it's 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 hard to get that connection when you don't meet face to face. Like we do, you know, Zoom calls once in a while, but there's nothing like yeah. being there belly to belly and being like, That's "Dude, true. I appreciate you hugging it out." <laughs> so, Daryl, I appreciate you. Cool. All right. Yeah, um, I, work, I work with VAs, and yeah, they're human beings. I mean, I totally. I, I mean, I'm forming friendships with my VAs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's 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 it's, it's phenomenal. All right. Well, David, thanks again, and sure. um, we'll be we'll be doing this live from in Vegas. See yeah. You <laughs> See you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, David. Thanks, everybody. Okay. All right. Don't forget about your keyword. $10 gift card. To your favorite, hopefully not Starbucks coffee place. But you know, I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't rip Starbucks. I, I just had a Starbucks this morning too. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Take care. Bye.